How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Spurverts Part 1. This is the show where we talk about everything that's got us absolutely excited to be Spurs fans, but... This week, we're not really excited. No way, it's been a tough old week. It Very has. depressing week. Very. Uh, let's kick things off with the Newcastle game. Yeah, why wouldn't we kick things off with the Newcastle game? Good Lord. The worst, the second half is the worst half of football I've seen us play for months and months. I think going back to a few months before the end of last season. Yeah. Terrible. We didn't turn up, couldn't be bothered. It was awful. Shocking, to be fair. I mean, I've ranted on my, on, on the hotspot about it. I've ranted on Filthy Fellas about it, um, and I can't rant anymore, I'm out no of rants. Left. I'm a bit like the Tottenham team in the second half of the Newcastle game. Drained. Didn't turn Drained. up. Where, what do you think actually went wrong? I think, I don't think Tom Carroll was the right choice for centre mid. Think? You don't think I he was the right choice? He was great against Monaco, and we were great against Monaco, but they also didn't turn up at all. Uh, and But to be fair, Newcastle didn't properly turn up in the first half against us, and we didn't. Yeah. We had chances that we didn't finish, but we didn't create that much, but we did absolutely dominate that first half and we should have gone in more than one up. And they would have been thinking, if we can get in just one nil down, we can come back, yeah. which is what happened. And we, just, we, gave them the, we gave them the opportunity and we should have played, and we needed Dembele um, for a hundred percent we needed really Dembele. Really missed Dembele, but with him out, we should have played Ali and Dyer, centre mids, who have been fairly consistent this season. There. Who should have been in the hole then? And in the Maybe hole. Ericsson with Chadley on the left? Yeah, I'd put Ericsson in the hole. His natural position? He's not He's not a wide player, Ericsson. He's not. And he's been missing all season, and that's because we're playing him out of position. And I if agree. we put him back in the number 10, feeding Harry Kane, it would be, be absolutely quality. And but then it poses Chadley the question, back. Dembele, where would he play then once he comes back into the fold? That that's is, why Ericsson's yeah. le- uh, pushed wide. Exactly, but you've got to take it game by game, and when you've got Dembele out, and you've got that's it and Chadley back, why would you not just put Chadley on the left? So you're saying we've got Ericsson to criticise Mopo's Team selection? Is that what, 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 what the route we're going down? Or? A little bit. I do understand the Tom Carroll selection because... I he, don't. He was like a toddler in a, in a classroom full of secondary school kids. Just completely out of his depth, getting bullied off the ball. He, didn't, he had no confidence. The occasion got the better of him, it, it seemed to me. I don't understand. And this is a man. He's like 24, 23, 24 years of age. He's not a kid. He's older than a lot of the players in the squad. He which is. is frustrating, but he, he just... Look, he wants, Poch wants to reward young players when they do well, and he does We well just established he's not young. He's the same age as me, oh, sort of. Yeah, yeah, but do you not feel like you're in your youth still? It's a sensitive you subject. You know what? I've been saying that you're past it for a long time. It says, it's a sensitive enough. subject. It really it is. It wasn't great. I mean, yeah, I'd have just, I'd, I also thought that a lot of them weren't great. Even the players that we loved this year, I thought Ali's touch was great. Oh, it was and so I, horrible, his touches. Ali, I, look, I'm always going to support Ali, but his touch is way off, and it just did show his immaturity a bit. You could see him getting too frustrated with it, and then like kicking off. Got Hugo Lloris, well Mitchell. let's talk about Hugo Lloris with the goal Lloris at the end. 93rd mistake. minute. Yeah. 93rd, yeah. you do not concede yeah. in the final 10 minutes or in this case the Four. final 14 minutes of the game. So many great saves this season and then he, he goes and does that. Just wipes it all down. I'm upsetting. But I we, think that's been a huge criticism back, of him though. Hugo. We can bounce back, okay? We can do it. And Ali, you can get your touch sorted. But I want you playing centre mid. So quickly that brings us to our uh, final point, Southampton. Yeah. Well, we got to win. Got to win it. Absolutely. We had to win against Newcastle, though. I know, I know. So it's like, well... You know what, maybe maybe it's a good thing. We needed a defeat. We kept grinding out draws because we were too scared to lose. We didn't play amazingly against Chelsea. We weren't great against West Brom. Mm. So maybe it's good that now we've got this unbeaten run out of our system. We can stop worrying about it and trying to be the unbeatables and all this uh, and the invincibles. And we can just go and we can now beat Southampton and we don't have to worry about it and we can just have a bloody Merry Christmas. So you're saying now we just go for it, not worry about conceding or losing the game, just go for the win. And you yeah, think and it will... if we lose, I'm going to be pissed off because I don't want to have to bring back Spursy. I already killed Spursy off. All right, guys. So this Damn. has been Spurvets part one. As you can see, Reese is very upset. But if you've enjoyed the video, somehow drop it a like. Make sure you leave a comment and we'll see you on the other side. Keep it casual. Hello. Welcome to Spurvets part two, where we talk about the things we are supposedly excited about.